What does it take for an average Asian guy to glow up into a super chat? Yeah, this went viral on Reddit. Let's read the post. He says, I was fat my whole life until 26 when I started lifting weights. I didn't really monitor my diet or do cardio. Then I lost some of it and eventually got my first girlfriend at around 27 years old. She ended up dumping me a week before my 33rd birthday. Then I went through a slow glow up over the next two years to get to where I'm at now. I'm Taiwanese. I'm 5'11", 160 pounds. I stay lean year round. Andrew, here are the photos of this guy's glow up. Andrew, here he is, skinny with a, uh, but like not a lot of muscle. Then he's like bulking. He's what, eating steaks, mac and cheese, mm. more steaks. He, it's kind of getting out of hand here. He's looking like, almost like chunky, right? Boom, gets dumped, gets motivated, oh. leans out. Andrew, what C drama, K drama is this guy the actor of right now? Yo, I got to say, man, this is quite an inspiring journey this guy went on, but we're gonna go through detail all the steps that he took. So I would say this right off the bat that he pretty much put in a 9.5 out of 10 effort. This is almost as much effort as any regular software engineer would put into glowing up. But I want you guys out there, if you guys are thinking about trying to glow up or get fit yourself, you can kind of plot yourself compared to him. This is a bar. This is a high right, bar. Right. This guy is not a professional actor or model or right. anything, right? So you're saying within the sort of the over-the-counter consumers, right. this is, he put in an Almost the max. So so this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go through his whole workout and all the effort that he put into it. It's quite a lot. Maybe it's not for everybody, but you can also plot yourself compared to where he's at. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Um, Smala also getting a glow up. I mean, it's not really, but check it out. It's shipping out right now. Smalasauce.com, finally shipping. I know it took a while, but we're very excited about our product. Real quick, man, I just got to say, sometimes if you get dumped by the love of your life, that will just get your motivation bar Ooh. in your internals to a level that really almost nothing else can. I mean, right? how many memes have I seen on the internet about like a dude at the gym, he just got dumped. He sees this long text and he's just pumping iron. So I do think that uh, obviously that's a large part of his journey, but David, we're going to go through all the steps and I don't know. I mean, you know, not every regular person is going to do all this. But you know what it is? I think a lot of guys, now that they've seen the results, they're going to see exactly, because he listed out exactly what he mm. does in terms of skincare, diet, okay. exercise. Like you said, you can triangulate yourself, and uh. this is a really useful chart. All right, David, can we start with the diet first? Because we all understand diet is probably the biggest part, the biggest component to even losing weight, cutting weight, which is what he wanted to do. He, he had good features. He's 5'11". That's a good height, but he was pudgy. So you can really see like his face fully right 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 i mean let's be honest he does have a good genetic basis because even in this second like really bulky photo he almost looks like a uh, korean mafia guy in a movie mm -hmm. but then of course to get to the this almost like marvel superhero type shreddedness he eats about three thousand calories a day andrew but he makes sure that all the calories are clean he's not mm -hmm. eating any sort of refined foods he's cut out sodas sugars he, and huge, he cut out alcohol and fast food and mm. all processed foods. Wow. But um, yeah, he's on a pretty strict regimen, Andrew, protein shakes, of course, sweetened with monk fruit only. He's taking creatine. I definitely do recommend people take creatine, whether it's wow. in a pill format or in a powder format. He's taking collagen peptides. For breakfast, he'll have one banana, unsweetened oatmeal, a large bowl of fruits. He'll have avocados on uh, Ezekiel bread, which is Ezekiel bread is the lowest carb bread you can get. Mm. Four eggs and powdered greens. I know you're a big powdered greens fan. I like powdered greens. For dinner, he's going to have a salad, Andrew, but not with a creamy dressing with olive oil or balsamic and, you know, a little bit of cheese on top. He's also going to get veggies such as broccoli or spinach, a sweet potato, and then usually either salmon or chicken, but a double portion of lean. Ah. Um, anyway, he also, Andrew, wakes up at 4.30 in the morning to train for two hours. Bro, though. this to me is one of the hardest things. I mean, the diet... Yeah, I'd have to eat a little bit more delicious food than that. But, man, waking up at 4.30, woo! Yeah. Not for everybody. Like we said, this guy is a software engineer, so he's coding in front of multiple computer screens all day long. So he gets up at 4.30 so he can get an hour of weightlifting in, Andrew, and an hour of cardio. Wow. And he says on his rest days, he actually still runs three miles and does yoga. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he was talking about like, you know, walking on an incline mm. treadmill and stuff like that, because obviously Andrew, as we know, 
Uh, sometimes you need a mixture of H I I T and slow burn stuff to get your neat rate up. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. sometimes you have like a carb reserve and a fat reserve, oh. and different types of exercises can tap into the, either the carb or the fat yeah, reserve. Yeah. What I found were walking on an incline, maybe if you're holding some weights, like a two pound weight in your arm, even, I mean, that's going to get your non exercise activity thermogenesis. Genesis, yes. Genesis up. Which, that's just a fancy word for just saying, like, calories you burn just doing non Non-intentional stuff. exercise. Yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, Andrew, uh, that's all the stuff. I think, would you agree that a lot of, when it comes to the nutrition and the exercise part, people know the general things that they should do. Maybe they don't know the details, but everybody knows don't eat crap work out a lot, whether that's like running or weights. Right. Well, it depends on how much you work out, how many calories you want to eat and stuff like that. But yes, I think generally people understand guys, lower fat, lower carb, work out more, work out, eat protein. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's just get into his face wash, Andrew, because this guy also has like some skin routines. Cause cause I want to note his pictures now, dude, he's, he looks like an actor now, bro. Like, you know, like he looks literally like a C-drama, K-drama guy. Right, right, yeah, right. And, he, and he, so his skin is super clear. Like my skin is not or, on this level at all. Or at all. least a fitness model, right? Right, right, right. Um, anyway, he has a $50 face wash. He has $60 facial cleansing Ooh. pads. He's got an $80 liquid exfoliation. Ooh. He's got a $175 daily defense serum. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got a $110 vitamin C serum. A $120 moisturizer. A $40 sunscreen, $20 peel-off mask once a week, and a $20 pack of pore packs that he uses once a week. That's, uh, you know, he just used the Biore ones. Wait, and that's just during the day. That's his daytime setup. Right. At evening, he has a $50 face wash, a $300 gold derma roller. He has a prescription for tretinon which is 30 bucks, but yeah, you got to get a, you know, a prescription to get that through your doctor or dermatologist. And he has a hydrating cream in the evening for $120. He also uses a $60 body lotion, a $30 foot cream, a $30 hand cream, a $52 body scrub, and his shampoos and conditioners. Oh, we didn't even get to the hair yet? His shampoos and conditioners Come out of a very hipster, Swedish, well-designed bottle. He's got hair creams, hair powders. I know you're a big fan of hair powder, as well as uh, additional hairsprays. Oh, man. All right, so, yo, straight up. First of all, shout out to this guy for his discipline and his dedication. Also, you know, he spends a lot of money on all of his skincare. Right, these are probably out of... uh, they're probably like eight out of 10, nine out of 10 expensiveness yeah. on the tiers. Like, he, by the way, you guys can obviously go on Amazon and get a much cheaper version of the same things. Like, I would say he uses as many skincare products as an actor does. Right, like, right. Like, as a professional person who's on camera. Definitely, you know, um, so I, I think it's very impressive at the same time. But I think some people may be looking at his list, David, and looking at everything that he did and was like, uh, are you serious? Right. I got to do all that. Is there possibly like a takedown version or uh, first few steps that people need to be taking? Yeah, I mean, it's just like anybody following a keto or a paleo diet. There's a reason why they call it a uh, semi-keto or a uh, lazy keto. Right. There's like all these modified versions that are uh, much more sustainable for your average person with relatively average mm. discipline or, you know, just like different life constructs that can't be right. subverted, right? Anyway, I, I do think it goes to show you that upgrades can be done though, right? Yeah. I think every man could be upgraded. Okay, just because you might not end up looking like him, you know, even if you do the same things, I will tell you this. I have a friend who's out here in the city. He's about five foot four, so he's not a tall guy. And he was kind of pudgy for a while. He's losing a lot of weight. He's doing one meal a day. He's working out. And he- Oh, cut the carbs too. At his older age of 37, he's getting a lot more compliments now. It is changing his life. Did he turn into this super Chad? No, obviously not given the same genetic cards. So even if he did the exact same things, he's not turning into this guy, right? But he is literally getting compliments. He's having people view him differently. He's having some of his old flings, you know, you know, compliment him and stuff like that. Hey, so, how you doing, you big head? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so he, like, for every guy, 
in every situation, it's going to help. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that everybody has different levels of discipline and life constraints, but everybody can at least, like, let's just say, for example, this guy's at a nine out of 10 because he's not, he's not I mean, taking discipline like, level. Yeah, he's like, I got it. I mean, he's probably at a 10 out of 10, but he's not like maxing out everything. I'm sure, like, if you're a pro athlete, you're taking all these other like crazy supplements that are only approved in Germany or whatever. But uh, I would say that, like, a lot of guys are probably at, what, a 2 out of 10 mm -hmm. if he's at a 9 out of 10. And mm -hmm. I would recommend most everybody at least get to a 5 or a 6, right? Yeah. Um, Just put in some effort. What, can, what effort are you using? Like, I would like to know in the comments down below for the people who have started to make a change in the past couple of years, what is one thing you guys started to do that maybe helped Well, I know you? all the looks maxing stuff is getting going really viral on YouTube right mm -hmm. now. I mean, like, mm -hmm. even channels that you never thought would talk about it are talking about it. Um you can see in his old pics, Andrew, he's clearly spending a lot of time at expensive steakhouses with a porterhouse and gigantic uh, bowls of mac and cheese and cream spinach around him. Mm. I mean, I guess, does so, it just go to show the you mac that- Mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and bread is going to kill you that dinner. You know, I mean, even technically the steak, if you just ate the steak, it's not that bad. What do you think is the diminishing law of returns? Like, in terms of, like, obviously, I I'm sure he's doing it for himself just to max out and be the mm -hmm. best he can be. But in terms of, like, for most guys, Andrew, let's say, for example, you spend a lot of time on the internet, you're, like, above 20% body fat. Is cutting to, like, 7 or 8% realistic? Or probably settling somewhere, like, 15, 16, 17 could even be okay. Dude, I think 15% body fat is already really, really low. You know, if you're talking about 8%, I mean, I would say that's probably bodybuilder level. Right. That's crazy. Are people surprised at how uh, different his face looked after cutting the body fat? Yeah, I think that that is pretty impressive, you know, that um, you didn't really know. Like, I guess he just had a lot of pudge on his face this whole time. Right. You know? Um. What about getting a haircut? Because obviously he's spending a lot of money on his haircut. Andrew, what are some ways that basically people can achieve some level of what this guy did? without spending all the money or being quite as disciplined or time intensive? Because some guys in the comment section were actually like put off by how much he put in. Yeah, no, I, I think it is intimidating to a lot of people, but I think that like, it's almost funny. Like if you just do a fraction of what he did, you're actually still going to see an improvement, you know, as long as it's different than what you're used to doing. So, I mean, a haircut, obviously he is, he does actually have a good head of hair. Not everybody it was is dense. blessed with it that. Was dense. Yeah. Not everybody is even blessed with gr such great hair to start off with. So, you know what I mean? Like, he's doing everything he can to keep it. And you know what was cool about this post? And I think the reason why it went so viral is because he was talking about that he was fat his entire life. Mm. And that's probably what allowed him to become a software yeah, engineer. Maybe if you look like this your whole life with all the attention you're going to get, let's just say he looked like this when he was 16, you're not going to become a software engineer. Your life is going to go a different direction. Uh, here's my thing. I just think, like, you know, he probably has eaten... All the mashed potatoes and mac and cheese that he probably he's tried to. everything. Yeah, and I think for him, he's probably just satisfied with having been like, you know what? I've been to a lot of dinners, you know, and I don't have to eat that stuff all the time. Maybe he's at a point in his career too where he doesn't need but, to. You but know? he had to cut out the fun twan. He had to cut out the fun twan. Yo, nah, some of that stuff is still delicious. You know, you got to eat it from time to time, but you got to be careful. Um, I guess my real quick advice would be, man, there's a lot like cheaper versions. And like, I guess a little bit more convenient versions of what he did. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say his is the nine out of 10 or the 10 out of 10. You can go on Amazon and get the takedown version, but still have access to everything that he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's more affordable versions of these things. I don't know if they work as well, but you can get anti-aging cream for not as, you know, 13 bucks. Right, right. Obviously, the, com the components are going to be different probably. Right, right, but, right. But, uh, you know, on a molecular level, it'll still get it the job done. You know, it might not be as good, but save you a ton of money. Anyway, somebody said... This man got dumped. This is what happened to his body. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think girls do it too, right? They, they yeah. got that uh, breakup glow up. That's like pretty common, right? Somebody said this dude focused his self-care in a meaningful way that works for his schedule and desired life lifestyle. It's a lot of info, but at this point, it is a habitual routine that does not require a lot of time or conscious thought and has become his second nature. Think about it. Just all the times that he was basically like telling everybody that was saying, oh, this is too much work. All the times that you're online playing games or looking at memes or just wasting your time unproductively. This guy's just rounding it all up and focusing it in the morning. Right. 
Yeah, it is true. It is true. Someone said this guy went from a real estate church pastor to training for Nathan's 4th of July hot dog contest to a contestant in physical 100. Meanwhile, I'm flipping through his picks while eating a double cheeseburger. Um, somebody said all that and every morning he's like, nope, still Asian. This was from a white guy and another white guy came in and defended him and said, nope, you're still bitter, bro. Yeah, I mean, I do think when an Asian guy glows up, this because this got posted on like a multiple of like non-Asian forums too. Mm -hmm. Some some guy who doesn't look this good wants to cut him down and be like, yeah, Asian guy still can't do anything. Yeah, no, in his state, nah, man, definitely he's he's trumping a lot of non-Asian dudes. Like him being Asian is not as big of an issue depending on his personality at this point. Yeah, somebody said, calm down, Simu Liu still needs that job at Marvel. I mean, yeah, I think that... You know, he looks like he could try to be an actor, but let's be honest, guys, being an actor takes way more other skill sets than how you look, even though I guess how you look is the most obvious one. Someone said he looks way younger after he lost the weight. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I do think it like kind of can can rewind sort of the clock a little bit. Somebody said, long story short, he just hit the gym, lost weight and put on muscles and got a good K-pop or K-drama hairstyle. Yeah, I do think that that's the most like simplest way to see what he did. But as you can see from his breakdown, Andrew, it actually got super nuanced. Right, right. And somebody said he didn't even need tats to look like a supreme Asian F-boy. Impressive work, sir. Um, do you think that he looks like an Asian F-boy? Part of me thinks that he looks almost like a good guy protagonist in a super, you know what I mean? As a, I don't know if he looks like an F-boy because I do think when you get the tats and you get kind of get that yeah. edgy look, that's more. Yeah, I, I would say definitely a physical 100 contestant, possibly a pretty boy, maybe action star because he's so buff and like his, like not even like the drama guys are this buff. Right. Like, you know what I mean? The K drama but, but guys. But it is are true. Skinny. I will say this, that it's like not necessarily going to appeal to girls in the bad boy that like the bad boy. Lane. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, at the end of the day, he's just ranking higher in, in the lane that he was already in. Um, the Eric Nam. Yeah, but he is, he is, to be honest, on that level that if he was just looking to date casually, I think there's a number of women who would be interested in dating casually. He looks like Cyclops. Yeah, if you wanted to date casually, I think he's, he's got that set up for him. If that's what you want, it all depends on what you want out of life. Um, why do you think this post went so viral, Andrew? Everybody knows that you just got to eat less bad stuff and work out and eat more good stuff. Literally, it is as simple as that, but... People got to see it from a relatable person, right? It almost speaks to his focus and how much he invested. I don't even know who gave him all that routine, like who told him to get all those skincare products. But at the end of the day, he put in the time, the research, the discipline, and assuming he's telling the truth, then, then I think a lot of people are just like, wow, wow, you made the change. You did it. You know what I mean? And they're just impressed by it. Whether you're Asian, non-Asian, this is an impressive glow up. You know I'm, what I mean? I'm not going to lie. I didn't even know what hair cream was. So when I was looking at his uh, breakdown, I was like, I went to Amazon and I got a hair cream that was one fifth of the price of the hair cream he uses. Hey, you know what? Buying it is, is, is half the battle. You know what the other half is? Using it consistently. I think that that is the tough part. A, a, lot, a lot of people buy that stuff. How many people have bought a derma roller? Or, or, yeah, yeah. How many people have bought this and this cream and it's sitting around? Do you think buying a nice version makes you want to use it more, though? Sometimes. Sometimes it's a space thing. You got to have things laid out. You got to have your setup. Got to have your little bathroom cart if you don't have the counter space. You, right, you mean organized and yeah. sequenced. You or you pay down the, the things that you're doing. You're only doing a two-step process instead of a six-step process. Whatever it is, you got to do it consistently, and you got to make it part of your life. You know what I recommend for everybody, man? Go to either a Japanese or a Korean skincare spot, right? You, you don't got to get the best, the, don't get the cheapest thing, but you can even one level above the cheapest, get something that's like a foaming face cleanser, just put it in the shower. Mm. So you've already got the face cleansing done right before you get out of the shower. Andrew, for a toner, spray toner. Wow. Is it going to go into your skin as good as putting it on a cotton ball? No, but guess what? If you have to put it on a cotton ball, you're not going to do it. Just not doing it, guys. So make, put in the effort, to design your life to make it convenient and consistent for yourself. I think if it's a pain in the ass to do something, a lot of people are less likely to do it. Yeah. Well, anyway, really inspirational post from this guy. Like we said, I don't, I don't 
have this amount of effort or discipline to put into it. But definitely, it made me go, ah, maybe I could up it a few points. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below of this guy's glow up. Let us know in the comments section below if you have any tips or tricks or hacks to look your best. Um, you know, especially as an Asian guy, I think that you just got to do it. One other thing, I will say this. One thing that I see sometimes Asian guys do is they go, well, you know, I, I was grew up in the neighborhood with this uh, one dorky, grizzly white guy, and he got like a pretty cute girlfriend. He doesn't do any of this stuff, so how, why do I have to? Just don't dwell on that, man. That's beyond you. Listen, man. that's probably a real dynamic, but that ain't just life. I mean, anyway. some dudes get lucky, too. Who knows? Anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think about his glow up. What did he go from, a 6 to a 9? Did he go from, like... A five to an eight? Did he go from a seven to a ten? Well, I don't know. What What do you think? So, what are some things that you guys do to uh, help yourself out? And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.